Hi, my dear NEET aspirants and IIT aspirants. Uh, welcome to BMS Academy of Objective Physics. This is Mr. Bhanamurti, Senior Physics Faculty Member. So we are conducting online offline classes on NGOs called Main Road on the from Hyderabad. Thanks for joining with me. In the last video class, uh, I explained uh, uh, about gravitation questions asked in previous IIT mains entrance examination. That is 22, 23 and 24 collective questions I have given. In this video class, I am going to explain in detail about electric fields and charges for neat aspirants. Uh, which are uh, and the potential also electric potential uh, the questions which are asked in 19, uh, 2022 23 and 24 examinations my dear meet aspirants put a concentration let us discuss these questions very quickly okay now actually <clears throat> from this chapter question number one two point charges minus two and plus q two point charges are there these two point charges uh, are uh, producing on uh, constitute a dipole, electric dipole. So this question is coming from electric dipole. Okay. Now they are situated at distance L. The magnitude of electric uh, uh, intensity they are asking at a distance uh, uh, capital R, which is uh, R is greater than L distance between them. So actually, uh, you see that here, uh, this point is situated. Uh, the point P here this point p is situated at a distance r means from the center or generally we can measure the distances r from the center okay they need not give this uh, r value in the diagram uh, so white colored uh, letter that's r so we are making okay now <clears throat> options are 1 by r square 1 by r cube 1 by r to 4 1 by r to 6 so intensity is related varies with the uh, a distance uh, from the center of the dipole. My dear neat aspirants, very simple question it is. Now, actually, let us see what is happening here. Intensity at any point, uh, formula, first you should know the formulas. At any point, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r cube under root of 1 plus 3 cos square theta. We discussed so many times in, in the coaching center. Now, uh, intensity of uh, on axial, we derived all these expressions now. Uh, in, in our uh, tutorial classes. So E A equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 2 pi by R cube. Next, uh, intensity on equatorial line. So uh, let me tell you what is axial, what is equatorial, what is at any point, first of all. So this is the information I am representing with, uh, um, with what uh, this green. So this is the dipole actually. So the line extending forward along the line joining uh, the two charges is called as axial line or uh, this is called axial line okay so when it is an axial line e axial means uh, this is a part okay next when the particle is at here on equatorial line what is equatorial line the line passing through the center of the dipole and uh, passing through the center of the dipole and perpendicular to the axis okay so that is nothing but mm, intensity on equatorial line this is a part okay now, at any point means it is neither on equatorial nor on um, axial line, means uh, this is the point, okay. So, this is the point E r comma theta. So, the line joining the center and this point, okay, it is making an angle theta with the axis of the dipole. So, it is at a distance r, okay. So, the distances can be measured from center of the dipole. So, this is the axial line, this equatorial line, this is at any point. Three formulas are there. So, in examination, upcoming examination 2025, we can expect any one question from dipole, okay, because it's very important concept. So, you, unless you know this formula, you can't uh, uh, find the answer, okay. So, now, my dear students, you select any formula because in this problem, axial, equatorial, at any point, not mentioned that such, that such type of um, words. So that's the reason why you select any formula E is inversely proportional to R Q. So this is the correct answer, my dear students. Okay, let us move to uh, question number two immediately. The closed integral of E dot dS, E for intensity of electric field, e dS for small elemental area of the surface. Okay, the closed integral of E dot dS equals to zero over the surface. 
or a closed surface, then what option is correct option? Very simple questions. They are selecting neat entrance examination. Okay. So if you join in this institution, we can uh, discuss so many such type of questions, uh, uh, topics in this academy uh, tutorial video classes. So we are conducting online offline classes in the early morning hours and in the evening hours. So directly you can come over the uh, um, academy or academy tuition classes. Okay, directly. So what is the correct answer? Uh, generally, a uh, closed integral of e dot ds, closed integral of e dot ds is nothing but electric flux. Electric flux, it is represented by phi. So, electric flux means it is a maximum num possible number of uh, electric lines passing through the surface. Okay. According to Gauss law, this is nothing but Gauss law. According to Gauss law, the number of electric lines passing through. Um, the surface per unit area. So, gas according to Gauss law, intensity is nothing but flux per unit area. So, uh, d phi by ds, this is the formula. And d phi is equals to e dot ds. Then, phi is equals to integration of d e dot ds. My dear, d dash spread. So, these topics, uh, this is a fundamental concept actually, flux definition. So the total flux around any closed uh, surface is equals to actually the total flux around any closed surface is equals to net charge uh, 1 by epsilon naught times uh, net charge on the uh, around any closed surface okay enclosed by the surface. So this is the formula. So this represents Gauss law. Total flux is equals to net charge by epsilon naught. But flux definition is it is a dot product of intensity and area. So the closed surface E dot ds equal to 0 means indirectly the total flux is 0. The total flux is 0 is nothing but what? The number of lines passing through the surface is 0. I am representing you with one diagram okay, to understand clearly uh, with white color pen. Okay. This is our example. Uh, <coughs> this is the closed surface. Now, some number of lines uh, entering into the surface means it is a negative flux. The number of lines leaving the surface is equal to positive flux. So, number of lines entering means the negative flux. Number of lines leaving from the surface is nothing but positive flux. The total flux is 0 means. So, what happens here? Minus 5 plus 5 is nothing but minus 5 and plus 5 is equals to total flux that total flux is 0 in this case according to the question total flux is 0 is nothing but number of lines passing uh, entering is equal to number of lines leaving so my dear students it is a problem of Gauss law so in this electric fields and charges uh, this option is correct answer the number of lines entering equals to number of lines leaving that means total flux is 0 minus y is equal to plus 5. Total flux is 0, right? Right. So, my dear students. So, let us go to next question. So, it's very simple questions they are asking actually. Uh, a thin spherical shell is charged by some source. Some source means a battery water. Right? The potential difference between the two points um, in C and P. So, you see this diagram. In this problem diagram also is mentioned there. So, this is the closed surface. It is uniformly charged now. My dear students, you should know one point. Whenever the spherical shell is uniformly charged, then that is called as equipotential surface. Equipotential surface problem it is. Very important concept. So, um, the center C and uh, point P expected on the surface. So, between these two, what is the potential difference? That is the question. So, the, what is the logic involved here? Clue. Clue means uniformly charged shell behaves like equipotential surface. My dear dear student, so many number of times, hundreds of times we discussed this lesson sentence in this academy. So, if you join in this academy, you will get the maximum benefit now. Okay. Definitely 100% seat guarantee if you listen my video classes. Okay. So, in the tutorial classes. You come and visit my tutorial class and just take 2-3 demo classes. After that, you can take your own decision whether to join in the institution or not. Okay. So, address is given there. So, for more and more details, you go through the description box given below. If you do, uh, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my video channel for more and more tips and tricks uh, in physics. Okay. Right. Now, 
you see this is equal potential surface so the potential at any point inside the shell inside the shell means here at point c i am representing with white band at point c uh, at point d c1 c2 c3 here anywhere inside the surface or on the surface potential is same that is called equipotential surface okay so that is a very important sentence here now v is equals to v v the potential at this point equal to potential at this point so if the potentials are equal potential difference is zero my dear neat as friends you know very well okay but i guide them i require for the students because all the students cannot get the rank you know the students which are taking the guidelines from the super senior lecturer and uh, subject expert then only they can get the ranks right now uh next uh, next question is the potential at any point actual point remember this point we are asking uh, they are asking potential concept now in this question okay uh, the potential at any uh, actual point at a two meter distance from r the center of the dipole moment uh, dipole moment is given p is given as here 4 into 10 power minus 6 uh, coulomb meter it is not centimeter this coulomb meter the dipole moment unit that is Uh, is a plus or minus nine into ten cube. That is nine thousand volts. So take this value as ten into four nine into ten power nine SI units. Okay. Now reason. What is assertion? Everybody is speaking about assertion, assertion, assertion. But nobody is telling full form of assertion. Okay. Assertion is nothing but the statement that you are believing very strongly. The statement that we are believing very strongly as true statement. That is called as assertion. so we are believing that this statement is true now now let us say a reason okay if the reason is correct explanation to that then uh, that statement may be wrong correct may be true if the r is not the correct explanation uh, then uh, there is a dilemma to tell whether this is true sentence or not so all these factors uh, um, you can get uh, if you go through the subject concept very clearly then you can answer this one very easily okay so both are correct r is a correct explanation both are correct r is not the correct explanation so a is true b, b r is false a, a is false r is true so this question is asked for neat as friends in entrance examinations previous entrances okay what is the conclusion here first of all you should know the formulas for potential okay uh, <clears throat> from the center of the dipole it is also dipole concept my dear students okay let us draw here so this is the dipole so minus q here plus q here this is called as dipole combination of these two equal and unlike charges so this is the center o so uh, the length of the dipole is capital l but not given in the problem but the center from the center at a distance Uh, at a distance from the center of the dipole on axial point axial point means i am representing with the uh, yellow colored line okay i am representing with yellow colored line this is called axial line on axial line at point p the potential is asking now what is the value he has given this 9000 volt actually let us check whether it is coming or not okay whether we are getting 9000 or not let us check now v axial formula what is that here v axial formula is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into p by what is that r square this is the formula my dear students neat as prints okay listen carefully 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p by r square this is the formula for potential at a on, on axial line on axial line suppose if it is asked here potential equatorial line 1 by that is zero on equatorial line on equatorial line potential is zero on bisector line potential is zero at any point say for example in the previous class question we discussed you know at any point means here the line joining here and here that is making an angle theta or distance so this is v r comma theta So at this point, what happens? Formula V R comma theta equals to one by four pi epsilon naught. My dear, neat as friends, listen carefully. It will be helpful to IIT students also for a main entrance examination upcoming. Okay, one by four pi epsilon naught p by R square into cos theta. P by cos p cos theta by R square. Where on axial line cos theta value zero. Cos zero is one. That's why we write in this formula. 
on equatorial and bisector line uh, theta value 90 degrees you know so that's why cos 90 is 0 that's why equatorial potential is 0 okay so the potential on at any point on equatorial line or bisector line of a dipole is zero always okay Do you remember this point so this question also is asked once upon a time for need aspirants in entrance examinations okay this concept is very useful for iit main students also okay so <clears throat> Now, uh, let us discuss in detail about this. Let us calculate this value with axial and whether we are getting uh, 9000 or not. Let us calculate now what happens. Okay. V axial equals to 9 into 10 to the power of 9. It is given in this question. Okay. That is into P means uh, charge into he has given P is given 4 into 10 power minus 6. My dear students, 4 into 10 power minus 6 divided by R square. R value is how much given there in this formula? Uh, so r value 2 meters given okay 2 meters i am rounding off okay so 2 meters means 2 square means 4 okay right 4 4 gets cancelled you are getting here 9 into 10 to the power of 3 volts my dear students this value is exactly coincided with the, the value given in the problem in the statement assertion statement okay so in assertion also potential is given 9000 we are also getting same value here it indicates that we are believing this statement strongly as it is a true statement so assertion is correct answer okay assertion is true but r is what here Re reason what is the reason here v equals to where distance on any axial point he has mentioned this Sentence now on axial point formula he has given here, which is wrong because actually this is a formula on axial line. This is a formula, but he has given 2p by r. So this is a wrong answer. 2p by r square. This is a wrong answer. My dear students, listen carefully. So with this is the explanation, way of explanation from this academy from me. So if you join in this institution, you will get maximum benefit now. Okay. So, uh, here in this case, assertion is a true and uh, what is that? Uh, reason is a false. So, C option is correct option. So, this is the way of explanation uh, from Mr. Bhanamurthy, a senior physics faculty member. So, <clears throat> if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe uh, to my channel for getting more and more tips and tricks in physics. Okay, my dear students, need aspirants because the very less time is there because you are going to write examination in the month of May 2025. So, very short time is there. It's the right time to join in the tutorial classes to get more and more confidence now in the subject. Okay, so unless you uh, observe all the formulas, concepts, fundamentals, okay, and uh, analytical uh, treatment and application type of numerology, numerical problems, so you cannot uh, get the rank, you know. So this is possible when you join in this Anumurthy's Academy of Objective Physics. For more and more details, go to the description box given below. Okay, uh, don't waste your valuable time. Avail this golden opportunity. Wishing you all the best, my dear students. Okay, now actually uh, you come uh, with hope, go with confidence and achieve your goal of best rank. This is my slogan, okay. So, so thanks for joining with me and thanks for watching my video classes. Uh, keep on watching my video classes regularly for getting more and more benefits from tips and tricks from Anumurthy Sir, BMS Academy of Objective Physics. Um, uh, for Google Map, it is a building, uh, uh, number is 1010 building. Okay, uh, Sai is the Sai um, products, uh, milk products it is. Uh, so, shop that is nearby the shop. Very, very, very familiar it is. So, on NGO's calling Main Road, Manasthalipuram Hyderabad. So, I hope uh, you will get the best rank after joining in, in this institution. Wishing you best of luck. And uh, very soon, I am going to release some more video classes now. So, which are helpful for the students. My request is you spread this video viral to your friend circle, your parents and like that so that everybody can get the benefit from this uh, video class to somewhat extent. Okay. So, thankful to you. Bye. See you.